Hi, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. Um, we're not getting started just yet, but before we kick everything off while everybody's still getting logged in, um, if you can hear me now and see my screen, if you could just let me know by typing yes into the questions box of your GoToWebinar panel, that would be a huge help. Perfect. Thank you, Pam and Lisa. Um, all right, so I'm going to put myself on mute for just a few seconds, and then we'll get started right at the top of the hour. All right, well, it's just about three o'clock, so I just wanted to go ahead and get started. Um, welcome, everybody. This is our first webinar for Give Local Allegheny Highlands, which is in its first year, so it's very exciting. We're kicking off a new event, and this is our first webinar. Um, just to give you an idea of who I am, my name is Linda Gerhart, and I'm the Senior Community Engagement Manager here at Mighty Cause, a little bit of a mouthful, um, and Mighty Cause is the technology platform for Give Local Allegheny Highlands, and I'm also joined by Daniel Grizzard from the Allegheny Foundation. Hi, Daniel. Hello, and uh, hi, everyone. Thank you uh, so much for being here and taking the uh, time out of your day to participate in this webinar. Hopefully it's a really great resource for you all as we prepare for June 15th. I'll take this time just to uh, let you know that we'll be having the second webinar on May 6th, which you, can, which you can register for in the nonprofit toolkit. And that one will be focused mostly on advertising, um, you know, primarily for the uh, Giving Day, but also hopefully we'll have some tips that are helpful in your fundraising efforts outside the Giving Day. And other than that, uh, all I'll say is if you have any questions about anything uh, Giving Day related, please send me an email at danielg at alleghenyfoundation.org or call the Allegheny Foundation office. And other than that, Linda, I'll just pass it back to you. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, so today uh, we're both, this is our first webinar, so we're really going to be doing a lot of introduction, um, not only just the concept of a giving day, but also introducing you to the Mighty Cause platform. Um, and just to let you know, we are going to do a question and answer session at the end of the webinar. Um, if you think of something that you'd like to know more about or would like to ask while I'm presenting, just go ahead and stick that into the questions box of your go-to webinar panel, and Daniel and I will make sure that we get to it at the end of the presentation. All right, so as I said, we really wanna start from the very beginning and talk about what a Giving Day is, what it's all about, um, and start from there. Um, so Give Local Allegheny Highland um, is a giving event that's hosted by the Allegheny Foundation, and it takes place on June 15th, 2021. Um, there is an early giving period, which we'll talk about um, in just a moment, that begins on June 1st. Um, so it's a giving day, it's 24 hours, but you also have a couple of weeks where you can build momentum for your campaign and get some giving going so that you have some donors in the bank for the big day on the 15th. Um, all nonprofit organizations that have a 501c3 public charity status are welcome to apply, as well as schools with an NCES code. Um, if you are a fiscally sponsored organization or you're part of a group exemption, you are also welcome to participate. There may just be one extra step for you to complete, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, and then we do need you to register to participate. Um, there are some questions and some uh, information that we need to gather from you in order to participate in the giving event. So um, the registration is really the first step in participating in Give Local. So what is a giving day? Um, a giving day is basically, uh, if you take the idea of a telethon, um, a giving marathon, and move it online, that's what a giving event is. It's a supercharged day of philanthropy, and it's really designed to bring a community together, um, bring nonprofits together, and bring donors uh, together for this event so that you can rally around the causes, raise money for your organizations, which are doing so much good in the community. Um, and it's really just meant to be a day of community spirit and investing into the, your own community. Um, it's organized by a host, um, which in this case is the Allegheny Foundation, um, and they really do a lot of work behind the scenes, not only to design the event and get organizations participating, but they also work to market the market the giving event. So you get a little bit of a boost by the extra work that the host is doing to, to publicize their event. 
Um, and then there's an online platform, uh, which is Mighty Cause. This is the basically the technology provider. Um, you have a giving event site, which I'm sure you've seen at this point. And then you'll also have um, donation pages on that giving event site where you'll collect donations for the event. Um, and then on the day of, you'll, you'll be ranked on a leaderboard um, where you can see where you rank and you can win prizes. There are hourly prizes, which we'll talk about um, more in the next webinar. Um, but the online technology platform is Mighty Cause and the organ the the the, or the the event I'm sorry the event is organized by the Allegheny Foundation. Um, so how do Giving Days work? Um, so. What you do is you're going to be engaging in some friendly competition with your other nonprofits. You're going to be competing with each other on leaderboards. Um, there are some prizes attached to that and those leaderboards are looking at how much money you raise. So you are rewarded and you become eligible for prizes when you raise money on Give Local. Um, and you'll also have the opportunity to win golden tickets and power hours um, that you can add to your, your take home uh, winnings from the day. Um, you also spread awareness and mission about your work. Um, you will be in a search. So people who heard about uh, Give Local Allegheny Highlands and they go to the site, they can find you in a search. They can find you via category, um, by location. So there's a lot of different ways that donors who are new to your organization can come to you through a giving day. And then you'll work collectively to raise money for the event and for your specific causes. So even though you're engaging in a little bit of friendly competition, your goal is to really empower the community and raise money for your causes as a whole and help that uh, the event total go higher and higher because that's all money that's reinvested in your causes and in your community. Um, and giving events are really great for engaging uh, sponsors. Uh, they're like catnip for sponsors. They love these kinds of events, um, community partners, peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, and so on. And we're really gonna talk more about how you can engage those specific groups um, in the second webinar, um, but they're really great if you have partners that you want to have involved in your, um, your fundraising, this is a great opportunity to do that. Um, so in terms of what your nonprofit needs to do, as I mentioned, you do need to register um, and then you'll create and customize a profile on the Mighty Cause platform. And this is where donors will go to make their contribution to your campaign for Give Local Allegheny Highlands. Um, and this is really important. There's usually questions about this in the first year of an event. Um, you do need to collect the donations through Mighty Cause in order for them to be tracked on the leaderboard and eligible for prizes. So you can add offline donations. Uh, so if some Somebody sends you a check or they uh, they give through a, a, a widget on your website that's not connected to Mighty Cause, you can certainly add those to reflect the total um, you know, scope of your fundraising on Give Local. But in order for it to count for Give Local Allegheny Highlands, uh, donations do need to be made on the Mighty Cause platform. Um, and to that extent, you'll need to plan a fundraising campaign um, and you'll need to promote it through your social media channels, your email email lists and events and so on to get your supporter base excited and involved in Give Local Allegheny Highlands and specifically excited about your campaign. Um, and then you'll just need to invite supporters to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. That's not required, that is optional, um, but as we'll talk about, it is a, it's a very good strategy to increase the amount that you raise and put more boots on the ground. And then um, on the event day, you just need to raise money for your cause. So um, it's really like any other campaign and it's just sort of um, you know built around this giving event where other nonprofits will also be participating and raising money for their causes. Okay and so this section we're really going to be talking um, about the specific steps, steps that you need to take as a nonprofit to prepare for Give Local Allegheny Highlands. Um, this is going to be a little bit dry and I apologize in advance for that, um, but we just want to make sure that everybody's oriented to the platform um, and has all of the knowledge that you need to get started and start preparing your campaign for Give Local. Um, so as I mentioned, uh, you do need to register your nonprofit if you have not done so already. Um, after this webinar, I recommend going to um, the Give Local Allegheny Highlands page um, or website and starting to register. There's a button right underneath the logo where you can click register. Um, there is a process to this. So the process is if you have a Mighty Cause account, you can just sign into that account. If you do not have a Mighty Cause account and you are new um, to the platform, then you will need to create 
create an account on Mighty Cause in order to access the registration form. So that's the first step. Um, and then on the registration form, you'll need to select your organization. Um, and then if you already have your nonprofit set up on Mighty Cause, then you should just be able to click the link that's there. We'll be able to pick up what your organization is. Um, but if you're new to Mighty Cause, there is a search field that you'll need to use to identify your organization. Um, most commonly, you want to search by your EIN. Um, we have we import um, information from the IRS database. So any nonprofit organization that is in the IRS database uh, should be uh, able to be found in that search. If for some reason you can't find your organization, um, and there are a few reasons why that may be, if you're fiscally sponsored um, or if you are under a group exemption, um, that you might be able, you might not be able to find your page there. In which case, there's a little link there that allows you to fill out a form that will get us to create the page for you. So you basically just need to do a little bit of an extra step if you can't find yourself there, um, and fill out a form that tells us the basic facts of who your organization is, so that we can create your organization in our database. So it so that sounds like a lot, but I promise it's very simple. Um, and then you'll just need to fill out the short form once you've been able to tell us which organization you're registering. Um, and then submit it. Um, we'll approve it as quickly as possible. Daniel is very quick to approve the uh, registrations that come in. Um, and when you are um, when you're, you'll, be, you'll be granted access to your page. So as part of the registration process, um, you'll also gain control of your page as an admin, and that way you can make all of the changes that we'll be talking about in this section of the webinar. Um, so your dashboard is really going to be your hub for uh, Give Local Allegheny Highlands. Um, every organization has a profile that you use to collect money, and you use this page to tell your story and explain who you are to donors and so on. Um, but where you'll be spending a lot of time preparing for the event and also on the day of is on your dashboard on your profile. So when you're logged as an, in as an admin and you go to your organization's profile, you'll see this dashboard there. And here are the different components components of that dashboard. Um, so we have an overview page. This is what you'll see automatically when you go to your organization's page on Mighty Cause and you are an admin. Um, and this is actually a really cool page. So you have a lot that you can do with your overview screen. You can set some metrics that you would like to track. Um, and you can also take a look at what's happened on your profile since you last checked in. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do, um, especially in your second year. Uh, so next year for Give Local Allegheny Highlands, you can do really awesome stuff like measure your donor retention. Um, you can uh, look at your year over year progress for how much you've raised. There's a lot that you can do with this screen. So just take a minute and get oriented, see what tools are there. And you also have some customization options. So if there's something that you really wanna track uh, for this giving event, you can set your dashboard up to do that. Um, most of the tools that you'll be using to start your campaign are underneath the fundraising uh, part of your, your dashboard. So um, that's, this is where you can go to access and edit your profile. You can find your campaigns, which would uh, include any peer-to-peer -peer campaigns or um, any separate fundraisers that your organization has started. Um, you can customize your checkout flow and so on. So this is where you can really access the tools that you'll use to uh, get your page customized and get your campaign rolling for Give Local Allegheny Highlands. Um, and the next section is a little bit dry, uh, but it is very important and there's a lot of interesting things you can do with it. Um, your report section, we provide robust reporting to all of the nonprofits who are participating. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about the reports, but basically if you're looking to pull some sort of data about your donations or your donors, you can find it under, under the report section. Um, and then you have your settings, which are your basic uh, settings for your organization on the Mighty Cost platform and for the giving event. Um, so anytime you're looking to add an, add an admin, if somebody at your organization needs access to the page, or if you wanted to add a volunteer who might be helping you out with some of your graphic design elements, or if we uh, have, we pulled the incorrect information from the IRS database and your address has changed, um, you can manage all of that stuff through here. And that's also where you can manage your disbursement settings, which are your payout settings. <clears throat> so one of the first things that you'll want to do is start customizing your profile. Um, it's actually very easy to do, so don't be intimidated. If you can uh, fill out a 
a Facebook page, you can certainly fill out a Mighty Cause profile. They're very simple to do and designed to be user friendly. Um, so your profile is what you will share with your organization, your, your donors rather, um, when they want to contribute to your organization on the give. Uh, on the big day. So for instance, when you send out your email and you're telling them about Give Local Allegheny Highlands and your campaign, um, this is the link that would be in the CTA button. You literally just pull the URL from your browser and that's the link that you share with them. Um, you have a lot of customization options, um, both in terms of the look and feel and the function of your page. Um, and this is where you can introduce yourself to donors. Um, tell them who you are, what you're all about, what you're doing for, the, for your community, um, and really get them invested in what your nonprofit it does and you can also use images and media to tell that story as well and we'll talk about we'll talk about that in just a moment um, you do have a to-do list which is located on your overview screen um, and there are five items on that to-do list um, which are basically the things that we consider essential parts of having a ready page um, so you can add a primary logo um, and that's going to follow you throughout the the give local Allegheny Highlands site add a background image Create your donation thank you page. Tell your story. It does need to be at least 50 words. Hopefully you can write a lot more about your organization and then also set up EFT. So you can uh, take a look at that to-do list on your, or your overview screen on your dashboard and that will tell you exactly uh, what you need to do still to get your page ready for the event. Um, so editing the look and feel is very easy on Mighty Cause and you have quite a bit of control over how your page looks on Mighty Cause. So when you're registered and you have access to your page, um, one of the first things that you want to do is go in and edit your theme. Um, your theme includes uh, the colors on your page as well as the logo and the banner image. These things are all elements that work together. Um, so your logo does need to be a one-to-one -one aspect ratio, which is basically a fancy way of saying that it needs to be square. Um, so if it works for your Facebook profile, it would probably also work for your Mighty Cause page. Um, a banner image is the background image. So uh, what you see on the slide here where it says the Hive Drive, that is their banner image. And what this does is it adds a little bit of color to your page. It can be related to your work. So for instance, if you're at animal shelter, you may want to have some really cute pictures of kittens there. Um, but you can choose an image that works and says something about who your organization is. But if you don't have something that works in that section, we do also have a library of images that you can use for that section. They're just kind of generic images, but you can choose one that maybe matches your logo's colors. Um, you can also filter your, your banner image. So if it's a really bright image, um, you can add a filter it, to it so it, it's more in the background and your logo stands out. And then you can set the theme color of your page. So what I recommend in most cases is choosing a color that is in your logo or at least contra, co uh, complementary to your logo. Um, and you can also just choose a color that you think looks good with your page. Um, but there's a lot of customization to do when you're taking your first pass at editing your profile, just in terms of making the page reflect your organization's brand and the work that you do. Um, you have a story section, and this is a crucial part of your page. Um, so there is an inline text editor that allows you to write about your organization and what you do in the world. Um, you want to have at least 50 words there, hopefully you can have more, um, and it does allow you to do some formatting like adding headers, lists, and so on, so that you can really make your story pop and pull people in. Um, you can also add images. Um, if you have a campaign video, which is something that is a great tool to have in your pocket, you can share it on your organization profile story. Um, and you can also add some more information through a custom tab. There's a lot you can do with this section. It's, it's actually a really cool tool that you can use to uh, introduce yourself to donors who may not know who your organization is and what you do. Um, so this is really your space to explain your mission um, and introduce yourself and tell people why they should donate to your cause. What are you doing in your community and why should they invest? Um, so this section is really crucial. It's kind of the centerpiece of your organization profile. So definitely spend a little time on your profile and show it a little love and make sure that you're um, you know, pulling people in with a good story. Um, on your profile, you can also add media and integrate your social media. Um, so you can add images to your media gallery um, that 
you know, basically tell, uh, they add to the story of what you do. So um, you can add images that are of your, you out in the community doing the work um, and so on, so that you, people have a dynamic component that, that pulls them into the page and gets them invested. Um, the longer people spend on your page, the more likely they are to, get, to give to your organization. Um, so it's definitely a good idea to upload some images so your page looks uh, fleshed out and full. Um, and you can import them from Dropbox, Google Drive. You can also just upload them directly from your desktop computer. Um, there's a lot of ways to pull images in. Um, you can also connect your Instagram account. Um, so if you post something on Instagram, it'll also post to your Mighty Cause page, which automates uh, something for you. So you don't have to post the picture in two different places. Um, and you can also add some, you can add a Facebook gallery to your profile as well. Um, and Basically, the purpose of this section, as I mentioned, is to give donors some more information, and in this case, it's visual information um, about your organization that adds to the story that you're telling them about your work in the community and the importance of your work. Um, so basically, things that would uh, explain what your organization is all about. Those are things that you want to include in your media gallery, and obviously, by pulling in your feeds from uh, Instagram and your gallery from Facebook, you're automating a little bit of the work. You don't have to upload things separately. If you're pulling them in, um, but you're also making sure that when people come to your profile, they are getting the full picture and scope of what you do in your community. Um, so we're going to get a little bit more technical now. Um, one of the things that you do have um, the ability, ability to control on Mighty Cause uh, is your checkout flow, which is the process that donors go to go through when they hit the donate button and they initiate the donation process. Um, so Mighty Cause actually allows you quite a bit of flexibility in um, how this looks for donors. So you can go to your checkout flow, which is under your reports section, um, or I'm sorry, it's under your fundraising section, um, and you can choose what data you need from them. So for instance, if you have a welcome packet that you usually send new donors in the mail and it's important for you to collect an address, you can opt to collect an address. If you have somebody ready to give thank you calls um, on the big day, you can uh, ask for a phone number during your checkout flow. There's a lot of things that you can do uh, to get the information that you need, the data that you need from your donors. Um, something that's also really, uh, it's just a little bullet point here, but it is a really great campaign tool, is you can actually add custom donation suggestions and um, descriptions to uh, your donation process. So you can suggest amounts um, by default. The suggested amounts will be 25, 50, 75, and 100, but you can customize those um, to whatever amounts are meaningful for your nonprofit. Um, just to let you know, the minimum on Mighty Cause is $10, uh, I'm sorry, $5 uh, as a donation minimum, um, but you can customize that amount so that you um, are making the suggestion to your donors at a key point when they're deciding how much to give. Um, and then you can add impact descriptions. So for instance, if $30, if you're a food bank and $30 provides a week of meals for 10 families in your community, I'm just pulling examples out of thin air, uh, you can use that in your donation description to explain that and give donors the uh, the ability to have a tangible experience. I'm not just providing $30, I'm providing all of this for the organization and people in my community. So you can really get um, you know, in the weeds with those and make sure that they're having like a an experience where they're connecting the money that they're giving with a real world item or service that your organization provides. Now that is not uh, required, that is optional, but that is an additional important campaign tool that you can use to catch donors at a really critical point in the donation process and customize it so that you're reinforcing your organization's purpose and impact in your community. Um, and then you can also pre preview the checkout section, uh, the checkout process. So once you've added all of these steps, um, it's important to see how they all work together um, because sometimes if you, you know, include every single option that you want to include, um, you can end up with a really cumbersome donation process. So we give you the ability to uh, 
go through the process yourself so that you can maybe do some editing and decide on what is most important. And you can also see what that's like for donors because you may get questions about that on the day of. We do provide support, but sometimes donors will come to you or call you because they know you. Um, so you can see what that process is like, is, is like for them. Um, and the last cool thing you can do with your checkout flow is you can enable dedications and designations. Um, so in your newsletter, if you uh, print uh, in memory of donations, you can collect that information in your checkout flow. Um, and you can also add designations. So if you have particular programs or things that you're fundraising for at your nonprofit, you can set those up. So donors can't choose them themselves. You would set them up at your nonprofit if you don't choose, uh, if you don't choose to have designations available, then they won't be available. But if you do have a few specific funds that you wanted donors to be able to give, th give to during Give Local Allegheny Highlands, you can set that up in your checkout flow. Um, and then once they're checked out, that's not the end of the process. You do have to thank them. And we have some automated tools that you can use to make sure that your donors get a really quick um, and personal thank you. Um, so that this is um, on, under the tab on the checkout flow page. So you would just toggle over to where it says post checkout. Um, and you can actually build a page. So when somebody donates to your organization, um, we'll automatically redirect them to a page um, that you've built after they complete their donation that has a message from your nonprofit. So that's the first thing they'll see after they check out is an acknowledgement from your nonprofit. Um, and you can do some customization with this page. You can add a CTA button, a call to action button that maybe sends them to your organization's website or somewhere to sign up for your newsletter. Um, and you can also add photos and videos to this page. So for instance, if your staff really wanted to get together and just do like a quick thank you video, um, you could post that on your thank you page. Um, you can also add an or add a custom message to the receipt. Um, so important information about how donations work on Mighty Cause. Um, <clears throat> Mighty Cause has a donor advised fund, a DAF, um, called the Mighty Cause Charitable Foundation. And the, do the donations come to us and are advised to your nonprofit. Um, so we regrant the funds to your nonprofit. So that allows us to send the receipt to your donor. So you don't need to worry about a receipt. Um, and what you can do is you can add a message to the receipt so that the donors are automatically thanked as soon as they receive a receipt. So that's a section that you can add and update um, to thank donors to sort of automate the process of donor acknowledgement. Um, and then you can also preview the whole process so that you see exactly what donors are seeing. Um, so there's a lot of options here with the checkout flow. Um, obviously, that's one of the most important things, the most important piece of making donations to a nonprofit organization is the actual process. Um, so you have some customization ability here, and you can really make it look the way you want using these options. Um, so donations and disbursements. Um, this is really important to pull back and explain uh, for a new giving event. Um, so when a donation is made on Mighty Cause, everybody who is an administrator for your organization, <clears throat> pardon me, on the Mighty Cause platform will receive an email notification to the account that is the email address that's connected to their Mighty Cause account, basically. Um, you can access your donor data in real time. Um, it is a report, it, we do provide a donation report on the actual view. So when you go to your donation report on your Mighty Cause page, it's just a little, it's a snapshot of your um, donations. And we provide that as a live feed of all of your donations. Your donors can't see it, only you can see it. And you can also filter it. So um, several months down the road, if you're looking to engage these donors again, you can filter the search so you're only showing don donations during a certain range. Um, but I wanted to mention, uh, because it's very important, that this view is limited. So there's a wealth of donor data that is available to you when you export the spreadsheet of your donor report. So if you're looking for something in your donor data under the report section in your donations report, um, you can download a spreadsheet that gives you all of the data that we've collected about that donor and about that donation. So um, your donation report offers a view so you can see what's coming in and you can quickly see and sort through the donation that are coming in, but you'll want to export the spreadsheet if you want the full picture and all of the nitty-gritty donor, donor data for each donation. 
Um, so funds are dispersed uh, twice monthly through direct deposit. Um, that is, we you have the ability to set up EFT, which allows us to deposit the funds that you raise directly into your account. And what we do is we bundle them together for you and deposit them uh, twice monthly. If you are not able to set up EFT for whatever reason or don't wish to, um, we do disperse the funds once per month um, if you are receiving a check. Um, we do recommend uh, making sure that you set up EFT if you're able to, um, just so we can get the funds to you quickly and you can put them to get good use more quickly and easily. Um, and then you also have disbursement reports. Um, so when we give you a deposit or you get a check in the mail, depending on how you do it, um, you'll also be able to access a report that tells you exactly which donations were reflected in that disbursement. Um, so sometimes because of the dates, um, on the 10th and the 25th is when we send them out. Depending on when that, that was cut off, you may see uh, you know, not everything included in the first do deposit for your disbursement uh, for the event. So you'll be able to take a look at the disbursement report, see exactly what funds were withheld, or uh, sorry, what fees were withheld, which donors, how many donors covered fees, any refunds. So you'll be able to see the details um, of each disbursement. So if you get a disbursement and you have questions, you have a report that you can access in your report section that tells you everything you need to know, and you can export that as well. So if you need to send it to a bookkeeper, you can easily export a spreadsheet that has everything you need to know. Um, so matching grants are a little bit of a complex uh, tool that you can use, and this is one of the things that you can use to engage your sponsors. Uh, so a matching grant is essentially um, it's a large donation that you would secure from somebody, either a major gift donor or a, um, a, a a corporate sponsor, somebody in the community that wants to, a business that wants to um, help you fundraise on the big day, um, and it allows you to add a dollar for dollar match on your page. There's actually a few ways you can set it up, but the most common way is dollar for dollar, so that if I go to your organization's page and I give $25, that is matched, so it's actually a $50 donation. And we do have a tool that you can use to add that. So now is the perfect time to start thinking about who you can reach out to to provide a matching grant, because it's a really great marketing tool. It's a really great way to get your donors and get the community to to stop what they're doing and give to your nonprofit. Um, they do not need to be paid through the platform. Um, you, can get a, you can get a check for this donation. Um, it doesn't need to be made through the platform, but it can, and it does help if you have the grantor make their donation through the Mighty Cause platform because that helps you in the leaderboard, um, but it counts the, the matching funds in your total amount raised. Um, and then you can also, if you enter a matching grant on your page, you do not have to add it as an offline gift, so we automatically do the math for you, which is really the most painful part of having a matching grant. So we'll talk more about how matching grants work in the strategy webinar, um, especially when it comes to marketing them, but that is an important tool that you you want to take a look at as you're getting ready is matching grants because let's say you have a you know a local business that you work with and they want to give you a thousand dollar donation what you can do is take that thousand dollar donation and turn it into a matching grant which will bring people to the door and create more donations because you're offering them value you are offering them um, you know a donation that is worth more than what they give to your organization. So this is a really great fundraising tool um, and you have the tool to do that right within your dashboard. Um, so matching grants, we're gonna talk more about those in the second webinar, but um, it might be a good time to take a look at the tool and just get a feel for how that works um, because there's a lot of things that you can do with a matching grant. Um, so your settings are probably the most boring uh, part of your profile, uh, but they're very, very important. So as I was mentioning before, if you have other people at your organization that need access to the page, whether it's a bookkeeper or somebody who's going to be helping you uh, set up your page and do your marketing for you, you can add them by using um, the, the settings on your page. So you can add anybody. They do need a Mighty Cause account, though. Um, so go ahead into your settings if you want to add more people at your organization. Um, you can also remove people. So next year, if you've had some staff turnover, you can also remove those people um, as you wish. Um, your legal address and your legal information can be updated through your settings. Um, so we import information from the IRS database. Um, we try to keep it correct, but sometimes uh, your address may change and the, the IRS is a 
government organizations, so they can be a little bit slow to update their database. So if you do need to update that, you can do that through your settings. We do have um, an upload tool that you can use because we just need to substantiate um, the, the change and have the paperwork trail, but you can update your legal address and any legal information about your organization. Um, and you can also set up EFT for your disbursements. Um, I highly recommend doing that. It means that you get your money so much more quick and more easily. You don't have to wait for a check. I'm sure if you've been watching the news, you know, the Postal Service has been a little bit slow. I know I got Christmas cards in the beginning of February that were sent out in December. So we definitely don't want you to be in that kind of situation with your 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 funds that you raise. We want you to be able to use those. So uh, if you are able to please set up EFT disbursement, we can send it right to your organization's bank account. Um, and then you also have some uh, some options to customize uh, how your link previews look on social media and your URL. So if you wanted to change the URL for your page, you can do that in your settings as well because that's the URL that your donors are going to see when they go to your profile to give. Um, one thing that is really easy to do in preparation for the event um, is uploading a do or is, is installing the donation widget on your organization's website. Um, you don't have to do this, but that is one of the main ways that many organizations have people come to their nonprofit. Um, so it's helpful to have a way that they can give that counts for Give Local Allegheny Highlands when giving starts. Um, so you have a widget that you can use, and you can use this year round. So if you are currently using PayPal to collect donations, or some other tool and you're looking for a tool that you can use that is specifically for nonprofits, you can use the donation widget um, through Mighty Cause. That is under your organization profile, um, under sharing and embed options. And it's basically just an iframe embed that basically pulls in um, a, par a portion of our website that allows people to give. It'll import your, um, your donation amounts, your donation descriptions, um, and donors can set up recurring donations. It pulls in all of the checkout flow options that you set on your Mighty Cause page. Um, and it, it basically unifies your um, your giving so that you don't have to put in offline donations that came in through pay, or donations that came in through PayPal. They're all just automatically fed into your donation report through Mighty Cause. So that's a really easy win um, that you can you can do whenever you would like to install the donation widget on your website. Um, and obviously you can use this outside of the event as well to collect donations. Um, we definitely have better donation management tools and more customization options than PayPal. So if you're using something like a PayPal button, this is a really great option for you. And I definitely recommend checking it out or at least having some spot where you have the widget installed on your website when Give Local Allegheny Highlands donations are open on June 1st. Um, and we're going to be uh, talking a lot more about strategy in the second webinar, um, but you do have some really fantastic resources on the Give Local Allegheny Highlands website, um, such as the nonprofit toolkit that Daniel lovingly put together for all of you. Um, so you can think, find things there like step-by-step -step instructions, timelines, tips, um, templates um, that will help take some of the work out of it for you. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. We actually have resources for you that you can use in the nonprofit toolkit. Um, Daniel was mentioning the uh, second webinar, and I've mentioned it a few times. You can actually register for that um, in the nonprofit toolkit, and that's also where, where we will have the um, recording of this webinar. Um, and then there's also frequently asked questions. Um, Daniel took a lot of great care to make sure that all of your questions were answered in there. So if you're getting ready for your campaign and you want to know the answer to a question really quickly, you can always check the FAQs. Um, so there's a lot of great resources that are on the Give Local Allegheny Highlands website that um, you should definitely look into as you're getting your campaign off the ground. And finally, the Mighty Cause team is here to support you for this event. So um, this is part of our role as the technology provider for Give Local Allegheny Highlands is that we are providing customer support to all of you as well as your donors. Um, so that'll come into play when donations open. We can actually help your donors with any questions that they have about completing a donation finding their receipt and so on. But as you're getting ready for the event and you're customizing your page, our support team is here to help you. So if you have a question, if something's not working the way you expect it to, 
or for the life of you, you can't figure out what, where to do a specific thing, um, you can check our support library, which is support.mightycause.com. And you can also email us at support at mightycause.com. Um, we have staff available to answer your questions and we usually get back to you within 24 hours. Um, and we're also available by phone uh, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Our phone number is there. Um, and you can take a look at that if you prefer phone assistance. Um, but yeah, we're here to support you. So as you're getting your profile up uh, off the ground and you're taking a look at the tools that are available to you, if you have any questions, um, our support team is here to help you out as you are sort of getting acclimated to the Mighty Cause platform and getting your page together for the big day. All right, so that is it for my presentation. I did wanna make some time for some questions. So if you have any questions about Give Local Allegheny Highlands, the Mighty Cause platform, just go ahead and plug those into the questions box of your GoToWebinar panel. Um, we, uh, it's wide open, guys, so if you have a question, don't be shy. Um, you've got a captive audience here from both me and Daniel. Um, so if there's something that you're unclear about related to the giving event, um, if something is perplexing about Mighty Cause, uh, please just type that into the questions box and I will just give everybody a few moments um, to type your questions in. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, I mean, it's def especially if there's anything about the structure of the event that you need more clarification on. Um, I hope this was helpful in getting you acclimated, um, but now is the time if you have any questions for us. Um, not seeing any come in, but Daniel, do you have anything that you wanted to um, communicate to the, the attendees today? Um, I think you did a pretty good job of covering all the things that I could think of. I know there's been a little bit of confusion about the uh, difference in the timing between when the registration for the group is approved and when management of the page is given to um, the uh, representatives from the nonprofits, but you addressed that in this uh, webinar and I can't think of anything else right now. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so if there's any questions about, like, if you put, so there's two different steps, basically, if you, um, when you register, the first is getting approved for the event, um, and then being approved as an admin for your organization, and since a lot of you um, are new to Mighty Cause, uh, we, do, we do verify each admin, because on your profile, not at this point, but we want to make sure that everybody that's fundraising on behalf of your organization and has access to your organization's information is a verified admin admin so we do have a process for that so when you submit your registration if you're not already an admin for your organization that will generate a ticket for our support team um, and we'll reach out to you if um, you know we need more information sometimes if you have like a gmail address or a yahoo address we need some additional verification if you're emailing us or your account is from a org address or an edu address it's usually very very simple um, but sometimes we just need to make sure that the person who's applying to be an admin actually works for the organization if we're not able to quickly verify that so that's why that process is a little bit different so there may be some lag time in between completing your registration and actually having access to your page so we'll we, we work through those as quickly as we possibly can but uh, be patient with us um, we usually try to get it straightened out within 24 hours um, oh here's a question from pam our kiwanis club eligible clubs eligible to participate i believe they are a 501c4 um so that's a good question in general on mighty cause only 501c3 organizations are able to use our platform um, and that's because uh the donations are filtered through our donor advised fund um, so private foundations and things along those lines are not allowed to fundraise on mighty cause um, if you have a specific setup i'm not personally familiar with how Kiwanis clubs are set up nationally, um, but you can always email me, uh, Linda at MightyCause.com. If you're unsure about it, you can e email Daniel, and you can also email our support team. Um, but there may be a circumstance under, if like if you have a fiscal sponsor where you can fundraise, or if there's a specific program that you're fundraising for, um, but 501c4 organizations, unfortunately, are usually not able to participate on Mighty Cause because of the um, the tax exempt status difference and the amount that is 
tax deductible. Um, so Pam, if you have any further questions about that, I'm happy to chat with you offline. Um, let's see, there's a question from Cynthia. Um, can we accept donations for several projects or programs, or Women's Club gives money for many programs? Uh, yeah, you can fundraise for anything you'd like, and um, you can also allow people to designate their, their donation for a particular program. So, for instance, um, at your Women's Club, if you had, you know, a particular initiative that you wanted people to be able to give to specifically, <clears throat> and just to be clear, even the designations are general fund donations, so they're just sort of earmarking the donation for that program. It still just goes into your general fund and the general disbursement we send to you. So we're not, you know, we're not, it's not a restricted fund donation necessarily, but they can ear, earmark it if you wanted to set that up. Um, something that some nonprofits will do is they'll use their organization page as sort of a a general page for your overall women's club and then like let's say you had a fitness center um, and or you had a you know a domestic uh, violence program or initiative that you were doing or a child care center you could create different fundraisers for each of those things so that you can talk specifically about those programs um, a fundraiser is a campaign page that is connected to your nonprofit and the funds go to your nonprofit, but it allows you the opportunity to talk more specifically about a campaign or initiative or a project. So that's something that you could also consider if you have several different things within your program that you want to fundraise for. Um, so yeah, you can absolutely um, accept donations for specific programs. Uh, designations are probably the easiest way. Um, fundraisers are also a really great way if you wanted to you know, really talk about what those programs and initiatives are for and what they do for community members. So there's a few different um, ways that you can go about it. Um, but basically, if, if it's your organization and your organization is a 501c3 organization, then yeah, you can fundraise for whatever you would like um, on Give Local Allegheny Highlands. And some people do actually use their, uh, their giving event participation to fundraise for a, for a specific program or a specific initiative. They, that's how they determine they'll get the most bang for their buck, or it's the most timely based on when the giving event is. But you can fundraise for basically everything that your nonprofit does, um, and the money just goes to the same place. It goes to your organization, and we send it to you. Um, but you can use a multitude of campaign tools to um, get more specific about the work that your organization does. Um, okay, so I think that is it for questions. Um, if you guys have any other questions that pop up, it's your first year, so I'm very much available to you. If you have questions about anything on Mighty Cause or the giving event itself, Daniel is very available to you and our support team is. So please don't be shy about reaching out. Um, you will have access to both the recording and the slides for this uh, presentation. Um, they will be on the nonprofit uh, toolkit page on the Give Local Allegheny Highlands website. Um, so you'll be able to take a look at those if you have somebody that you wanted to share them with or you need them as you're going along and you're like, wait, what does this tool do? So they will be 100% available to you there. Um, so thank you all for joining me today. Um, this was a great webinar. I'm really looking forward to the strategy webinar. So make sure that you sign up for that one as well, because we're really going to be talking about campaign marketing, how to win prizes, um, you know, email lists and so on and so forth. So that's a really fun one. This one was a little bit technical, but that one's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you sign up for it. Um, and thank you so much for attending. Um, I look forward to see what you all are doing on Give Local Allegheny Highlands, and I will see you um, on the next webinar. Thanks.